I'm a gastroenterologist with training at Harvard and Stanford and I've scoped thousands of stomachs. And guess what? The most overlooked superfoods are seeds. Not pills, not powders, real seeds. And in this video, I'm revealing the seven seeds I eat every single week for better digestion, less bloating, and a stronger gut-brain axis. And some of them you have probably never even heard of. One of them helps you poo better than fiber supplements. Another one can cut sugar cravings fast. And the last one, it's a total underdog that has been studied for colon cancer prevention, but almost no one eats it. So stick around because I will show you exactly how to use each one and why your gut will thank you. All right, so let's start with the one I never skip. So if I had to pick only one seed for gut health, it is going to be chia seeds. Why? It is packed with soluble fiber and forms a gel when soaked. And this gel does three things. First, it slows down sugar absorption. Second, it feeds your gut microbiome. And third, it helps you stay regular. Yes, I mean it helps you poop better. But here is the trick. Do not eat them dry. Soak them for at least 15 to 20 minutes, if not overnight before consumption. I like to mix one to two tablespoons in almond milk or yogurt and add berries. And that's an awesome gut-friendly breakfast or snack. It also keeps you full for longer. Second, flax seeds. These are tiny but powerful. They are rich in omega-3s, especially ALA, and these are anti-inflammatory. But there is a catch. Your body cannot absorb much from whole flax seeds. You've got to grind them. Ground flax seeds help with bloating, hormone balance, and even cholesterol management. I use a tablespoon of ground flax seeds in my smoothie or oatmeal three to four times a week. They also contain lignans, which are compounds being studied for cancer prevention. Next, pumpkin seeds. Now, pumpkin seeds are magnesium bombs and most people are deficient in magnesium. Magnesium helps you poop better, sleep better, and calms your nervous system. Pumpkin seeds are also rich in zinc and protein. I like to eat them roasted with sea salt or sometimes toss those into my salad. Fourth, basil seeds, also known as subja seeds. These look like chia seeds, but these are even cooler. They expand faster, have similar soluble fiber benefits like chia seeds, and are often used in Ayurvedic medicine for digestion. I like to consume these along with my chia seeds in oatmeal, almond milk, or almond yogurt. In one of the studies, they also help manage blood sugar better. Next, we have sunflower seeds. These are packed with vitamin E, which is a powerful antioxidant that helps repair our gut lining. And if you're dealing with stress or inflammation, they are a solid snack. I like to eat them lightly roasted with a little bit of sea salt. By the way, these are also great for skin health. All right, next we have sesame seeds. These have been used for thousands of years and there is a reason for that. They are loaded with calcium, magnesium and fiber. I like to consume these as tahini, that is the sesame paste. I love it for my dip for whole grain pita chips. Sesame also supports bile flow, which helps digest fats better. Okay, last one, pomegranate seeds. Yes, I am counting these because these are antioxidant powerhouses and also work as prebiotics. These feed our good gut bacteria and reduce oxidative stress in the gut lining. I like to eat them raw or toss it into my salads. They also support our immune system. And in fact, they have been studied for their anti-cancer effects in the colon. All right, quick recap. Chia seeds equals digestion and satiety. Flax seeds equals hormones and fiber. Pumpkin seeds equals magnesium and gut brain axis. Basil seeds equals bloating and blood sugar control. Sunflower seeds equals antioxidants and gut lining repair. Sesame seeds equals calcium and bile flow. Pomegranate seeds equals prebiotics and antioxidants. And again, I don't take seed supplements. I like to eat the real thing. Why? Because your gut responds better for food in its natural metrics. Also, 90% of serotonin is made in your gut. So if your digestion is off, your mood is likely off as well. So here is what I would like you to consider. Pick two of these seeds and try them this week. Drop a comment, let me know which ones are the ones you are going to try. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for no fluff, no BS, science-backed gut health tips that actually work. And remember, 
your gut is not just about poop it is your second brain i'll see you in the next one